Nice. What's uh, you're talking about greatness and greatness requiring a difficult moment in time. Can you like reflect back and think what are some of the hardest, if not the hardest thing you've ever had to do in your life? Well, you know, I think I've had a, had a bunch of things, you know, I've had a lot of things not go my way. Um, you know, I've been incredibly fortunate. I've had a lot of things go my way also. Um, but uh, leaving, leaving Team Lord Urban in 2008, which I firmly believe was the right thing to do, um, is one of the, uh, uh, that was very difficult at the time. Not uh, like, not a difficult choice, but it was uh, because of why I was leaving. But um, psychologically, first of all, loss in general, leaving yeah, team, a family of I, all kinds, it doesn't matter what the circumstances. I didn't lose any friends, but I lost a lot of people I thought were my friends. And I uh, I lost training. I lost, I'd also had like a really serious, my wrist only does that. So like uh, I had a really serious uh, wrist surgery like that. I didn't know if I was going to be able to compete anymore after that. I just got my brown belt. That was a uh, it, it was a tough time, like uh, psychologically, physically, everything. But I was very, very motivated to do my best and to, to push through it and to uh, you know, just to carry on in a positive direction, no matter what, in a different direction. And uh, we lonely. You know, this is the thing about family, even if it's an abusive family, leaving is tough. People are complicated, and even people that I that I don't think very well of, that I think on the whole I don't think very well of. It's it's unfair to paint them with one brush. Um, you know, obviously there's greater and, and lesser examples of that. Like the person we discussed last time, who's an infinitely, you know, beyond almost anyone that we could ever imagine meeting in our own personal lives. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Bloody elbow. <We're> <laughs> yeah. In terms of forgiveness and hate, I mean, do you, do you have hate in your heart for, for people in your past uh, no. for, for that process? No. I mean, there were definitely times when I've been no negatively motivated to prove people wrong or to accomplish things despite. And I think that some of that is valuable. If I'd be lying, if I felt differently, I think particularly, uh, I do really well in conflict. Um, I'm useless for that. This is the usual deadline thing. I'm useless. Yeah. I'm useless. You like the I, chaos? I'm useless. Yeah, I do. I'm useless without an antagonist. I like fighting. I like competition. I like being pushed. I like feeling like if I don't play well, I'm going to get hurt. I, mean, I have no choice but to play well yeah. or play with everything I got at the very least. And I guess I would say though, is, uh, <clears throat> you know, as I've gotten, um, you know, more time and, you know, lived a little bit longer, you see, you know, various situations for, uh, you know, you know, with, with increased, uh, increased color, I guess I would say increased clarity. And, uh, you know, there are a lot of lessons to be learned, even from, from times in history or bad experience that we have. And the question is, can we take those lessons and move forward? And that's again, what I think we're seeing in sometimes socially right now, we're forgetting important lessons of the past. And that's not good. Not saying, hey, I don't get why we why we could be going in this direction or that. I understand entirely, but hey, let's not forget the lessons so we don't have to learn them again because that doesn't really serve anybody. And anyway, I guess I would say I'm thankful for all of the experiences, difficult and otherwise, mostly difficult. Honestly, most of the times I remember, I'm thankful for every loss I've ever had, particularly the tough ones. I'm thankful for uh, you know, for all the relationships. I've many people have taught me many things and continue to teach me many things, some of whom are still some of my closest friends, some of whom are people I really don't get along with at all. And some of whom are people I think really poorly of. Oh, there's not many of that last group. What I guess I would say is uh there's there's been a lot of things and, and opportunities to learn and uh, you know, throughout that. And also it's not as if I've never done made any mistakes myself. Now again, there there are magnitude differences I like to think. And I can definitely say that none of the mistakes that I've ever made have been mistakes of intention. You know, I've screwed up a lot of things in my life, but I can confidently and and easily say that I've never had ill intent towards people as I've done it. So you sit there and like, man, it's just the right thing, it's the right thing. And sometimes I've been wrong. But uh you know, you never set out with malicious intent. And I think that when I find that I think people do things differently, when I do think that there's malicious intent, I have a difficult time forgiving that.